Welcome back everyone, this is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and in this video we are going to be talking about the arithmetic operators. And I know we've discussed these a little bit because we've worked with math in C, but I'm going to try to give you a little bit more information, you know, kind of keep you learning things. So to begin, let's create a file. And I guess we'll just name this, um, I don't know, arithmetic operators. <laughs> and in here we'll just write the standard stuff. Now, the arithmetic operators. There are four main ones that you need to know. They're pretty easy. You probably already know them. They're plus, minus, divide, and multiply. These work exactly the same as in math class. They just might look a little bit different than what you're used to. Now, this last character is called an asterisk, and you can find that by holding shift and pressing 8. So, I like to call it capital 8, but I'm weird. <laughs> Now, let's assign some data to a variable using some arithmetic expressions. So let's get rid of this junk, and we'll give our variable some real creative name, x. And we'll assign the value 2 plus 3 times 4 divided by 3 minus 2. This huge complex thing here. Now this brings up the topic of order of operations. This is the mathy term to describe which one of these happens first? Well, there's actually a computer science-y term to describe the same thing, and that is operator precedence. So operator precedence means the same thing as what operators happen first. Each operator, you could say, has a precedence over other operators. All right, so let's try to figure out what's going to happen here. Multiplication and division happens first. And that's from left to right. So we start at the beginning and just start going right. The first time we see a multiplication or division sign is right here. So the first thing to happen is 3 times 4. This means that we could actually group these with parentheses, like this. You can add parentheses wherever you want as long as you remember to close any parentheses you open. Now, pretend that evaluates to some value. It'll be 12. So what we have is 2 plus 12 divided by 3. That division happens next, so we can actually group that, just like this. Addition and subtraction happens after that. So we start from the left and go to the right. 2 plus whatever this evaluates to. And then once we group all of that, like this, <laughs> we get that entire value and subtract 2 from it. You don't have to use the parentheses. That's because the operators have a precedence and the computer will work it out itself. But if you can visually see what's happening with parentheses, I recommend you use them. The output of this should be 4. That's because we take 3 times 4 and we get 12, and then we divide it by 3, so basically these 3's cancel. And we have 2 plus 4, which is 6, minus 2, which is 4. If you don't believe me, we can output this, just like this, and we'll save that. Let's compile this, output a 4. Awesome. You can actually use parentheses in other ways. For example, if we want to create a precedence that is not going to happen by default, we could do that. So if we wanted to say, hey, let's do this subtraction first here. Well, we can do that. First, let's get rid of these parentheses because we don't really need them there. It's kind of clear, so I don't think they're that necessary in this situation. So at the end, we can add our parentheses now. All right, so now what's going to happen is any parentheses are going to be evaluated first. So we get 3 minus 2, which equals 1. Then you're going to have 2 plus 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is going to be evaluated as 12. 12 divided by 1 is 12. And then you add 2 to that. So your value should be 12. Let's check. Oh, 14, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Now, whether you should use parentheses all of the time or not is up to you. If you look at this and you think it's pretty clear what's going to happen, then you're fine. But if you think this might confuse a coworker or another person looking at your code, go ahead and add parentheses here and just make it extra, extra clear. Now, I'm going to introduce you to a new operator, which is always fun. So, this operator is called the modulus operator. And it looks like this, int y equals 5% sign 2. Now you can use any numbers you want, and at first, this is kind of confusing. I want you to look at this, and I'm going to tell you that the value of y 
is going to be one. And I want you to figure out why. I already told you why, but I want you to figure out the reason why it is one. <laughs> Can you figure out what this operator does? Well, I'm actually gonna be teaching that in the next video. So hopefully that suspense will keep you ready, waiting. And if you wanna be notified of when I make new videos, be sure to click subscribe. And assuming YouTube isn't a butt, it will tell you <laughs> when I create new videos. So thanks guys, and I will see you in the next one.